Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to worship at Trinity. Well, not at Trinity, I guess. At worship at home on uh, this April 26th. This is the third Sunday of Easter. I'm so glad that you are joining us for worship here. Uh, you've probably already found our worship resources on the website at trinityleader.ca. There's a button that says worship resources and videos. Click on that and then you can click on April 26 resources and all of our order of service and liturgy and videos and everything else you will find there. Uh, again, we're worshiping like we did last week, a little bit more interactive, not just one hour-long video, but a series of shorter videos with components for you to participate in at home, and some scripture readings, responsive readings, time of prayer for you to do. I encourage you, if you have kids, uh, get them involved doing some readings, some responsive reading, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you're at home with your spouse, you each can take a part and, and take turns reading. If you're home alone, I encourage you still to, to take the time to read even read it out loud. It helps you slow down a little bit, maybe think about what you're reading, what you're saying. And so in, in, interact, engage, use the, these resources as the Spirit leads you this morning. We still can't be together. Uh, however, we had some optimistic news from the Premier this week about a, a gradual reopening. Council met earlier in the week and, and uh, you know, we will continue to, to meet fairly regularly over Zoom video conferencing and, and discuss our plan for coming back together, worshiping together again. It's still a few weeks off it looks like, but we will work to develop a plan and See where God leads us that way. So today is, again, the third Sunday of Easter. We continue in celebrating the resurrection, songs of the, the resurrection, songs of Easter. We continue to sing our sermon. We're going to be thinking again about this idea of commissioned, how Jesus commissions us, sends us out to bear witness to his resurrection the question that you see just under this video or just above it, uh, depending on, on where you're looking at this, uh, the questions that I want you to be asking and considering as you quiet your heart and your minds for worship this morning is what keeps you awake at night? What are you afraid of? Might be good even just to verbalize that to yourself or to those that you're worshiping with this morning. Have that in the back of, of your mind probably already in the back of your mind. You don't need to bring it out necessarily. But be thinking about those things. Because we'll hear today how Jesus brings hope, encouragement in the midst of our fears, in the midst of our worries. And so as we begin this time of worship, I encourage you, as you did last week, Maybe grab a candle, light a candle as a way of signifying, marking this as, as a holy time given for worship. Maybe as a way of putting aside those distractions in your mind so that you can focus on worshiping God this morning. Not really too many other announcements that I have to make. I still looking, trying to plan a few things over Zoom maybe thinking about getting the, the Sunday school kids together for a video video call so they can see each other and, and interact a little bit that way. And, and something like Bible trivia over Zoom or something like that maybe in the coming week here. We will see how life unfolds. But for now, we carry on. And we worship our risen Lord. We make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, we boldly proclaim Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I turn you loose to worship. Take all the time you need. Feel free to pause videos to, to reflect. Do what you need to do as the Spirit leads you into worship this morning. You can carry on with worship now with that responsive reading you find just below here as the call to worship this morning. <laughs> 